Hey guys, welcome to Quick Tips. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos so far. Today we're doing quite a cool text and logo call to action that you can use at the beginning or at the end of your videos. So let's start by hitting new project and I'm just gonna call it QT5, okay. All right, let's bring in our footage. Clip one is a second long and that's where I wanna make the cut into the next footage after that. Now the problem that I normally have in Final Cut Pro is that you don't have really too much manipulation of the animation on titles. So what I like to do is use some of the native titles inside of Final Cut Pro, which do have some quite nice motions on them, and manipulate those to create a unique animation. So we're gonna go into titles and find build in, build out. And I'll just need to find the title that we're gonna be using now. All right, got it, it's line reveal. So as you can see, if we can just look in the preview over there, what it does have is quite a nice subtle animation that you can't really get just by animating keyframes. So let's bring that in. Um, and as you can see, there's three unique animations going on. There's the text, the subtitle, and also the line that's animating. We only wanna use text, so let's just double click on subtitle and get rid of it. And then we'll select the title again, go into the title settings, and just turn off that line opacity as well, because we won't need that. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is change the font uh, around. I'm gonna use a bulky font for this. So I'm gonna go with Monserrat. All right, all right, cool. And then bulk it up with something like bold. And the first word I'm gonna use is run and click away. So now we've got that isolated. We've got just one word animating on like that. And what I'm also gonna do is just turn off the clips behind it by hitting V for now. All right. All right, so I'm gonna make a copy and then paste this line copy and then paste this line. So we got the three lines there. First one, we're gonna just double click and change it to we. Second word, we can just leave the same because that is run and then double click on the last one and then just type this. Okay, so we've got three words there, we run this. We're gonna first take the first one and reposition that over here. So move the position out uh, around about 80 pixels should do. And then this should also be around 80 pixels below. So we've got three words there, and let's also align them to a certain direction. And this seems strange because you would think that aligning it to the right would align it to the right, but it doesn't, it aligns it to the left. So we're gonna align it to the left so that it aligns on the right. All right, cool, let's just do that with all of them. So this, and there I've confused myself. So we're actually supposed to align to the right. Okay, cool, what that does is create a nice solid line down the side here. And what I also want to do is just to change the font on the middle word. So we'll make it a light italic and then we'll also change it to a color. All right, and the last thing we're going to do is just move them four frames apart each. So we'll start out with we at frame zero, then four frames ahead we'll move, uh, run over there and do the same thing four frames later with this frame eight. All right, now I'm going to select all of these and we'll right click and create new compound clip. And I'm just gonna call that text one. All right, so now we got that there. What we can next do is to just scale it up because obviously we want that to cover up most of the screen. So what I wanna first do is to animate this title slightly from left to right. So what I'm gonna do is go to frame zero and I'm gonna set a keyframe over there. And then I'm gonna go ahead to two seconds. So as you can see, this is gonna be quite a slow movement from the first to the second point. So we're gonna move it to the right by about 240 pixels. And then what we can also do is animate those keyframes a bit. First, I wanna set the first point over here to linear and then smooth so I can see the points. And then the second one as well, linear and then smooth. So these beginning movements are gonna be quite small. In fact, that's perfect. And then the second one, that's also great. So you can see the points over here and over here. So you can see what we're doing here is just creating a subtle movement from left to right over two seconds. And so what we're gonna do then is create a new compound clip so that'll be compounded twice. And the reason we're doing that is to create two different unique movements, one that moves it to the right and then one that moves it to the left. And because these movements have different curves, it'll create a, quite a slick animation to it. So now that we've got text two, we're gonna to go to frame seven. And again, like before, I'm going to position or I'm gonna keyframe position. Then we'll go ahead to one second and four frames and we're gonna create a second keyframe. And we'll move it right off screen here. So let's keep it going. So maybe around minus 1300. And again, what we're gonna do is go into transform and I'll just, so I'll zoom out here. Then what I'm gonna do, is select the keyframe and change it to smooth and then pull it all the way out close to the end. 
And for the second keyframe, I'll flatten the curve out. Cool, so that's looking good, but I think what we can do is actually give the first keyframe a bit of breathing room. So we're gonna show the animation here and then just shift the keyframe down. So what that'll mean is that the animation moving out left will start a little bit later. Then I'm gonna bring in the logo and scale it down quite a bit. So the problem I have in Final Cut Pro is that when you animate with the curves, it never gives you as subtle a animation to give you a nice slide in, like what we'll wanna do here with the logo. So this is where traditional animation comes in, but it's actually quite a fun little job to try and figure out. So what I'm gonna do is start with the logo at 400 pixels at one second, and I'm gonna go frame by frame and then just animate how I would imagine it start to go in. So we'll have quite a, a push in the first frame, just to give it a bit of movement so that it catches your eye. Then we'll go ahead another frame, and then from here perhaps we can just divide that in two because I also want quite a lot of motion there. Uh, then we'll go forward a frame and not as much this time, so maybe around 60, 65 will do. And now we kind of want our text to hit a traffic jam. So we want it to have push really hard only for it to slow down quite quickly. So here we'll go and make it maybe half that, 35. And then in the next frame, we only want to take 10 pixels off. And then another 10, so 15. And then we're only going to knock off five this time, so 10. And then this is the ultra slow down. So I'm going to go, uh, perhaps the next one will be seven. And then from there, just cut it to two pixels per frame. So seven, so seven, then five. And three. Then one. then zero. See, so as you can see, it looks like it hits a traffic jam, but sort of slowly comes to a halt there. What we want to do now is take that animation and slow it down further. So what I'm going to do is create a new compound clip and we'll call that logo. And I'm going to show you quite a cool trick that I found out recently here is that if you go command R, it brings up the speed. So with that compound clip, I'm going to create it at 50%. And what you'll see now is that animation comes in, it comes in quite slow. And then this is what it would look like with footage behind it. All right, guys, make sure to check out our title templates for Final Cut Pro. The link's in the description. Thanks again for watching, and I'll check you in the next one.